was not one, but two great Hepburns in the pantheon of Hollywood acting legends, and the word is that they were related, but only if you go right back to the third husband of Mary, Queen of Scots. In 1999, the American Film Institute named them, along with Betty Davis, as the top three greatest female stars of all time. Catherine Hepburn was number one, while the ever-enchanting Audrey came in at number three. Audrey Hepburn is as big a star now as she was in her prime, with her iconic roles like Holly Golightly and Breakfast at Tiffany's still regularly referenced in contemporary popular culture. And while Catherine is known for her record-breaking four acting Oscars, Audrey is one of only three women to take home the Grand Slam of American Awards outright, a Grammy, a Tony, a Primetime Emmy, and an Oscar for 1953's Roman Holiday. Her notable films range from Funny Face to My Fair Lady, from The Nun Story to The Children's Hour, and Wait Until Dark to Robin and Marion. But behind the dazzling smile and beguiling charm lay a tragic past. When she was just 10, her father left her mother, an abandonment she was later to describe as the most traumatic moment of her life. But worse was to follow. Thinking the Netherlands would be a safe haven, Audrey's mother moved her and her two half-brothers there just before the Germans invaded in 1940. Audrey's experiences during the Nazi occupation were horrific. Her uncle and her mother's cousin were shot dead in front of her after being accused of belonging to the resistance. Her half-brother, Ian van Ufford, was sent to a German labor camp. Over the winter of 1944, the country suffered a famine, with the Germans taking what limited food and fuel there was left. It was largely a result of her shocking memories of the transportation of Jewish children that led her to such devoted humanitarian work in her later life. A UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador, in 1992 she was eventually honored with the Presidential Medal of Freedom for her remarkably selfless efforts.